Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is the FN57. Got it set up exactly how I want it. I'm just going to go over uh, a few things on my setup here and uh, talk about what I've experienced while shooting it and uh, maybe kind of uh, clue you in on what you might expect. Um, I expected a lot from this pistol. Um, but uh, before we get all that, let me go ahead and just show you how I got set up. Alright, so this is the X5L laser flashlight made by Viridian. Comes on instantly when you drop from the holster. Uses a little magnet inside the holster. Let me just show you that real quick. Laser's a little faint. There, there you go. You can see it on the black. That's just me pushing the button on and off. But let me show you how it works in the holster. This, by the way, is a black point holster. It's been custom made to accept the flashlight laser combo. And if you look inside there, I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe hey, that'll help. See that thing right there? That's a magnet. Alright. So what you do is you leave it on, you stick it in the holster, light turns off. But as soon as you pull it, it comes on. Off. Alright. So very impressed. Very impressed with that setup. Alright. Now, another thing. I don't know if you guys can see this too well, but most FM57s have a very pronounced mag release button. Notice mine's kind of silvery and the stock ones are black, right? Well, I kept on uh, having to accidentally drop the magazine while I was driving just from the pressure of my seat and my body between the gun and pressing on the holster the button would pop and anyone who owns one of these will tell you that instantly you, um, renders the gun inoperable basically it's got a magazine disconnect so no magazine fully inserted no shooty so I took this off which wasn't too big of a deal and I used the uh, grinder and grinded it down until it was flush with the grip Still operable though, I'll show you real quick. Okay. I know they did that on purpose though, they wanted somebody with large gloves to be able to operate it. So I can see that, probably using it outside the waistband also. I've seen guys disconnect the entire magazine disconnect system and it makes the magazines real floppy. They uh, feel like they're about to fall out of the grip there when you do that, so I didn't want to do that. So I kept it this way. Works good. Alright, and uh, I'm going to do a quick takedown before I show you these ammo rounds here. Um, Got a safe. You guys can see there's nothing in the chamber. Okay, well, you do this. Fix my camera real quick. Okay, so what you're going to do is kind of grab it back here. Fix this okay, so what you're going to do is you grab it with the right hand, 
behind here, pull it back a little bit, take this knock, uh, um, this button here, we're going to click it to medium, um, halfway mark, um, it didn't work. Hold on. Takes some getting used to, but uh, yeah, you got to push it all the way, and then it'll basically come apart. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. About two or three hundred rounds through it, no issues. It is dirty because I do concealed carry the gun. Definitely needs a cleaning, especially back here. All right, and then um, to get the uh, barrel out, you're just gonna push it in a little bit. It comes right out. Such a tiny hole <laughs> that it gets the job done. Inside the slide. Definitely gonna clean this thing after the video. <laughs> This thing is pretty dirty. All right. Okay, now just make sure that this part here, you make sure that thing is dead center when you put it on, because it won't go on unless it is. So then just to uh, put it on, you'll notice it's got little ears back here, little grooves to slide on, and it also has this here. So what you're going to do, uh, hook that hook into there, or right by the, right by the button. Push it in. It's good to go. Um, a lot of you guys know it's got the safety up here. It's also on the reverse side. Non-dual uh, non side mag release, but you can reverse this. Of course you guys know about the adjustable sides, I'm sure. But um, it's very uh, comfortable in the hand. You see how that uh, safety is really 